Hello, hello, hello. Hope you're having a wonderful day. We are looking at the Honey Badger. The Honey Badger, the Honey Badger. Now this is from Call of Duty Ghosts and MWR. What is that? Modern Warfare or something? Whatever. Anyway, <clears throat> the idea here is this is a gun from the Call of Duty franchise. The Honey Badger. Looks fun. Looks like a good, interesting gun. Um, let's see. This was ported by Coca Z93. Uh, looks like a fairly popular gun already. Uh, let's see. This was done originally by Warfighter. And it's going to be craftable at the Kim station. Now, it's under... It's under 48 megabytes, just barely. I imagine if they do the least little thing to it, it's going to be 48 megabytes. <laughs> but nonetheless, um, it's under 48 megabytes. So we can craft this. Let's just go give it a whirl. They do mention, let's see. Let's see, the Honey Badger is the iconic weapon of the infamous ghost. It's seen throughout the campaign. And it's, uh, oh, I'm hitting the wrong stick. Uh, favorably high rate of fire. It will fire at 800 RPM. That's rounds per minute. In a fully automatic configuration, this rate of fire, fire is only bested by... Okay, so... All right. Uh, see, it's fairly forgiving. Powerful weapon in close quarters. And the integrated silencer makes it a great weapon for close to mid-range combat. Okay. All right. So they do give you all the information you need here. They do give you the Nexus mod PC version. Okay. So, and there was some sort of, I guess, crafting fix that occurred. I don't know. But nonetheless, let's move on. This looks interesting. It looks like a good... Now, this is a modern-day weapon. I know some people do not like seeing modern weapons in Fallout 4. I just like looking at the different weapon mods. I don't determine what the modders make. <laughs> so I'm not really trying to get into that. Um, I would like to see more um, sci-fi style guns myself. Um, but... A lot of people like bringing in these uh, these modern-looking uh, guns, and I admit I like seeing them, too. They're fun. They're pretty cool. So, let's see. Jenny is ready to roll. I took her to the cheat room and got her prepped. So, we should be able to make this. The Honey Badger. And this might be another good warfighter weapon. I don't know. That other one that we looked at was good. And while I had initially believed um, that there was a problem with the loading screen with that mod, it turned out that after the first few loading screens that that issue cleared up or was not there. So um, I do not I'm not aware of any issue with this with this mod right now. I do not go out and look and read the comments on every mod on uh, Bethesda. I don't have that kind of time. So, a lot of these mods I'm looking at purely on the Xbox, just like anybody would that's just playing the game on the Xbox. So, so I don't always see the comments. I don't always go out to Bethesda's site. I am trying to be more active out there in that if I see an issue. See, here's the Honey Badger. When you're in the chem station, just go all the way down to the Warfighters factory. And there's the honey badger. And we'll just, let's see, we'll make, that's a suppressed automatic. Let's make two of these. I think that made two. It didn't say what the second one was. So anyway, um, oh, let's get, now, Jenny has too much stuff in her inventory. I'm just going to tell you right off the bat, she does. So. We're going to do that. Now, we have the suppressed automatic honey badger. We have two of them. We're going to take her holster off as well. Okay. I don't want it to be distracting to us. So, 
Let's go down to the honey badger. It's going to be suppressed. It's a suppressed honey badger. All right, so, all right, so that's we're going to stick with the more basic version first. Make sure that that's correct. Okay, let's just do this. Let's just do that. Perks. Perks handling. Let's go. I'm just going to try. Now these are perks that you. These are things that change. You know, blast shield, heavy weight. These marathon. See, it says increases the amount of action points you have. Heavy weight will increase the amount of weight you can carry. Blast shield um, slices all damage you receive. In other words, reduces the damage you receive. Uh, standard material, let's do, ooh, I don't like that at all, Ugh. but if you like it, that's fine, it's just, I, I don't know, it's just, it looks kind of weird. These are some different alternatives, I think I actually kind of like all of these, except for that weird gold one, I don't really care much for that. Let's just go back to the Warfighter material with this one. And let's see, let's leave our damage at 0%. We won't modify the damage. So this is going to be Suppressed Automatic Honey Badger. It's not going to have any super special stuff. That's with the Warfighter and the Marathon. Now this one we're going to do differently. Okay. Let's just go Integrated Compensator. This one's going to be totally different. Um, let's do some cool, cool. Yeah, thermal. Yeah, that'll be fine. Thermal hybrid. Let's choose the hardened grip. Yeah, let's go the hardened grip. Perks. Let's do the stalker. Handling. Let's do the steady aim. Perks resistance, what is that? Doesn't really say. Resilience, let's do resilience just for fun. Okay, now let's find one of these that we liked. Now this one doesn't appear to take the paint the way, did you see the way the other one look? It only, only certain parts of this is changing. The gun itself is staying brown. <laughs> um... Well, let's try the winter material anyway, just for fun. Let's just go with that. So this is the Recoil Compensated Advanced Automatic Honey Badger. Now let's give it some... Why is plus 30% lower than plus 90%? I don't know. Let's just go with plus 90. Let's hope they did their math correctly. So this is the Recoil Compensated, okay? And then you still have the suppressed one down here. Let's find that real quick in the S's. And then this is actually more the normal one, which is kind of funny, but let's just let's just roll with it. Alright, so we're gonna make this easy on us to use. So this is the suppressed honey badger. And then we're gonna do the recall. Recall, compensated, is this the right one? It looks like the right one, yep. Alright, so we're going to put that out here, and we're going to try that one too. I found this to be a useful technique. I think that was when John's show here a little while ago. So we're going to do this. Look at the honey badger. Oh, you can't really see it good. Let's go first person. This is the standard honey badger. Oh. Seems to work. Oh, oh, okay, my aim is not that great, is it? Well, I hit him. You know, I still think it fires a little off. I still think it shoots a little off, but... Oh, we got her as she was standing up. So this seems like a pretty good gun. It feels good. Oh, I shot him, like, in the arm, and he died. Feels pretty good. Um, 
Third person's pretty good. Reload. That looks alright. I missed, which is pretty funny. Alright, so let's go back to first person. We're gunning y'all down. Gunning you down. Oh, I missed him. I'm just going to go for a reload here so we can see the animation for that. That looked pretty good. Alright. Alright, so that's okay. This seems like a good weapon. Boom, boom, boom. Yep. That looks good. Alright, not bad at all. Alright, so let's switch over. Now this is the recoil compensated. Let's see. Oh, this gives you a nice little pop. You can fire one bullet at a time here. Is it still... Oh, it's still fully automatic, though. But if you do the trigger right... Well, I did fire two twice that time. Yeah, okay. Well, I guess when you zoom in, it allows you to shoot one at a time better. So there you go. I mean, let's try this from the third person perspective. We'll just see now there you just get the dot, but that's fine too. If you choose to play third person, you know it's going to do this type of thing, which is fun. I don't have a problem with that. So. Oh, I missed him totally. But there's the reload for that. You can't see much difference. Look at that. I fired all the way around him before I hit him. Okay, so my finger slipped, so I was shooting the floor for a minute. Hey, he dodged. That's unfair. But there you go. That's it's pretty nice. I'd say that's still very nice. It's too bad you can't change the appearance of this more advanced version. But you have to admit, it's nice to have the little the little scope here. I like the way they do that. The reload looks good, no matter which version you're using. Is there anything else? I don't think there's anything else to really tell you about it. It's it's uh it's pretty nice. That's a pretty nice weapon. Uh, that is what you just saw was this more advanced version, which does a lot more damage, 419, um, versus the suppressed one. Which does 114. It still does a lot of damage. So both of those are really, really good. Really strong versions of that weapon. And I can see that weapon being pretty fun to use regardless of whether you, um, regardless of whether you use it, uh, uh, well, I can't think of the right word now. Regardless of whether you use it like in its more basic form or its uh or the more advanced version. So Alright, so really I guess I should just show you the mod at this point again. Uh because we've really reviewed the weapon. We we looked it's got a lot of mod variations that you can play around with. I guess don't choose the one I chose if you don't want brown. Um, but the very basic gun, anyway, I kind of liked it. The the more basic model, which had the suppression and everything, was very nice. And you could, you know, get it painted up and do what you want. So it's just under 48 megabytes. It's the Honey Badger. And there are, I mean, there are mods that are a lot bigger than that. So I don't consider that to be overly big if you really liked this and wanted to use this weapon. It's a good one. So, and it seems like Warfighter is doing some good mods, and then this Coca Z93 and other folks are porting these over, and that's that's really nice. So, really appreciate everybody's work on that. It's fun to have the guns to play around with, and Jenny really appreciates it. She loves to have the gun 
to shoot and kill people with. So her favorite thing to do, you know, maybe we should have gone to Sanctuary and, and killed a bunch of people, but uh, maybe we'll do that uh, another day. All right. Okay. So uh, thanks for watching. Stay safe. I'll be glad when all this craziness is over with. But but even even when all the craziness is over with, still, stay safe. Keep yourself safe. Be careful. And uh, I will catch you later.